It wasn't popular when it opened 20 years ago, but a stable haven for homeless addicts has residents and supporters celebrating today. That's right. Our Scott Wagner takes us inside the Recovery Hotel. Sitting down on your own couch with a good book, that's something most of us might take for granted. Not so Robert Malone. I was a drug addict. His drug was crack cocaine. It cost him everything he held dear. I lost contact with family members, with my kids, with my wife. I was a lost soul. Three and a half years ago, he found the Recovery Hotel in Cincinnati. This is amazing. The hotel takes in homeless, recovering addicts and supplies structure to their fragile lives. I can cook and eat and wash my body like I want to. I was able to stabilize. I was able to dream about some goals and make the goals happen. It was started 20 years ago by homeless advocate Buddy Gray, who some saw as a thorn in the city side. But today, residents and supporters were celebrating. I learned how to be responsible for myself. Some of the original residents say the modest hotel on Vine Street completely changed their lives. I was able to get an associate's degree, a bachelor's degree and a master's degree. It taught me how to live free of drugs and, and alcohol. Donald Whitehead now works in Orlando, Florida. It's important because people who are trying to change their lives, uh, they need an oasis in the sea of degradation and destruction that is caused by active addiction. The hotel has made such a difference to Robert Malone, he hopes to reconnect with his lost family. And let them know that their dad has changed and been a, being a different person today than he used to be. Scott Wagoner, Nine on Your Side, Over the Rhine.